Galilee again. Lots of wildlife here, but we've got an amazing archaeological treasure. It's clearly defined by the archaeologists as a synagogue. Even reminds you of the Berlin synagogue in terms of massive structure. And it has all these column bases. It's from the second, third century, maybe on into the seventh century. We have these marvelous columns here. This one is similar to the one that's standing and they're heart shaped. I'll show you that detail in a little moment. But look at the size of these, um, these columns. interesting just to see the way the design is for the structure so this side has this uh, groove here for the two lobes of the heart shape and then here we have this square corner opposite that here it's our right angle and then here we have another sample of the same design quite the trove of columns, a smaller column base here, more column pieces all around. I just put out my foot there so you can see the size of these pieces. You know, they're, they're really big and heavy. This synagogue south entrance was down uh, the main entrance was in the south, so we're walking that direction. And there's this very big mysterious stone down here. And the question is if it's turned upside down, or this was its original upside, because there was a stone that's referred to in the website I have attached, which has a dedication in Aramaic to the cantor of the synagogue and his brother Shimon. So we're here in our little vacation exploring new places, getting in some walking. It was also interesting when we arrived here today the siren went off and we're right near the, the 65 freeway and all the traffic stopped for the siren people were probably following on the radio and people stood in memory of those who had fallen in the different conflicts here we are near Isla Gun village here just off the 65 at the Natofa Valley also with lots of memory archaeological investigation talks about the Netophim the prehistoric humans very fertile valley this water flows also into the Sea of Galilee We're looking at the big hills of Upper Galilee in the distance to the Lebanese border. And yesterday evening at the beginning of Memorial Day, I was standing beside a guide who was first cousin, lost his life in one of these combat conflicts many years ago. It's amazing how many people are connected to people who have lost their lives. We think of you know, all the new conflicts in the world today, so many people losing their lives, the openness of humanity. And we continue, we continue living and we continue enjoying treasures like we've just seen here. Legacy that's from the past. 
So may our legacy for the future be rich. May we build good relationships and bring points of great value to humanity. Development of good relationships of reconciliation. A whole pathway of healing of wounds, of forgiveness, in our, as our Christian faith, this is just a valley we're passing through, the valley of life, the trail of history, and we live for, for eternal glory. The mystery of life, the mystery of each people, lots to ponder on, on Memorial Day as all well. God bless you from the Sea of Galilee. It's good of you to have been here with us today. See you later, alligators.